Well, we are winding down Bravo, but we are ramping up with the Vail Dance Festival. It kicked off Sunday night with the openings, and then we're going to be continuing all the way through August 9th. Here to tell us more about what we'll experience tonight is Peter Bull, and you're going to be doing an up-close series, and this is where we really get to know a lot more behind the scenes, behind the dance, and you're going to be talking about the works of Jerome Robbins. Yes, excited to do that, and that'll be tonight. And Damien and I worked with Jerome Robbins quite a bit, so we'll tell some of the stories of the studio rehearsals. Okay, so, so Damien Wetzel is the artistic director of the festival. Yeah. You are the artistic director of the Pacific Northwest Ballet, right. who has been doing a couple of shows already, and yeah. it's so great to have you guys here for the second year. Yeah, and we love it here, so we're happy to be back. Yeah, all right. Well, I know that we talked a little bit before we came live on the air, the altitude. I mean, I think that's yeah. a lot of people ask whether you're a wind instrument player or you're, you're a biker that's coming up for here for a race. Yeah. How do the dancers handle this? Yeah, you know, our dancers, we had two dancers last night that did a brilliant performance, one of the hardest pieces you can dance. I went back to congratulate them, and they looked like puddles on the floor, <laughs> and they each had an oxygen tank, and they would move the oxygen just to sort of curse me out, and then they'd <laughs> breathe a little more, but but it was a great show. Yeah, and you know what? They, they are so professional, and yeah. they can handle it, and what I think that they do, and what you used to do as a dancer yourself, you make it look so easy for us. Yeah, they do. And then, of course, it's not. Not at all, but they yeah. make it look easy. You're right. Well, let's talk a little bit about your history. And, and I know, Damien, a lot of the shows are, are personal. The people that are brought yeah. here are personal friends of his. Yeah. Uh, Damien and I met when we were in our teens, um, and we worked together in, as young dancers in the company. And we worked on a lot of ballets that Jerome Robbins created. Um, sometimes the two of us were paired in different dances. Um, so we had all those wonderful experiences with Robbins. And now we've sort of reached a new point where he's running a festival here and I'm running a company in Seattle okay. and we can reunite and bring this these great stories back together. And now Jerome Robbins was here 1918 through 1998 yeah. and pretty much I bet working all through his career, you yes. know? I mean that's the thing is it it's in your blood. Yeah. Now an amazing man to work with, a real taskmaster just driven and focused on the work and we learned such valuable lessons from him. Okay, and he's known for West Side Story, you know, the different ones that yeah, we, we know on the, on the stage. Roof and Peter on the Pan and yeah, all these great shows. So, okay, yeah. wow. Yeah, and the ballets too. The ballets may be lesser known, but dances at a gathering and in the night and um, some, some of the most beautiful ballets ever created, Robin's ballets. Okay, so now tell us how tonight's gonna work. So the Up Close series gives us a chance to kind of listen, learn, and of course watch, because you're still gonna yeah. have the Pacific Northwest Ballet performing too. Yeah, yeah, I love the way you think I know how tonight's gonna work, because <laughs> I don't, it's so unscripted. Um, but we'll, we'll show some dance excerpts and then Damien and I will tell some of the stories that we know. And there'll be a little bit of where we're teaching dancers Robin's roles, but on the spot, the dancers mm. don't know them. So it's very impressive prompto, um, very fresh and very unscripted, and yeah. I think it'll be very interesting. And you know what? We always try to encourage people, the, the guests, the, the, the locals, to come out to of the variety of the performances that are here for the two-week period, simply because you learn so much, but even if you aren't in a dance and don't know a lot, you can definitely appreciate, I mean, just the athleticism. This valley is full of athletes, yeah. and just looking at the muscle tone, the agility, the height they get in their jumps, yeah. and it just makes you want to go work out the next yeah. day. <laughs> no, it's amazing. The athletes with the grace on top. It's really quite spectacular. Mm. And what's interesting this year is the Vail Valley Foundation has done a great job with their website having photos fresh from that Aren't day. They good? Or the, the YouTube. Yeah. You can yeah. see some of the performances. Just get a snippet of what you can expect. Yeah, no, that's terrific. And then that message goes out beyond the audience that's seated there to anyone that wants to see. Mm -hmm. How many hours a day do your dancers practice? Um, generally, it's about seven and a half, seven and a half, eight hours a day. Wow, so, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah that's okay. why they look so good. They definitely do. <laughs> yeah. And how was it going from being in the dance to going and being the artistic director? Um, well, you, you know, there's, yeah, there's nothing like it. I mean, there's nothing like that physical satisfaction of dancing and that connection with an audience. But then you get to give it to others and mm -hmm. you get to see them find roles and you get to see them reap the rewards of performance. So yeah. there are rewards in that um, just for sitting in the house and watching. And do you ever get the kind of so-called writer's block? Like if you're trying to think of a move, you know, and you can't quite, you know, do you ever get that? And how do you bust out of that? Um, yeah, you do get that. Um, mm -hmm. But the more you do it, the more you have the formulas to help yourself through that. Mm -hmm. So um, it happens, but we work through it. So. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and how did you get your start? I got my start. Uh, my parents thought it would be good for me to see the symphony and the opera and the ballet, and I think they had no clue that I would like the ballet and yeah. want to dance, but I um, haven't looked back since I started. Okay, so. perfect. And where did you grow up, and what kind of schools did you go to? Did you start this, you know, kind of a high school path even? Um, I started it as a nine-year-old um, in New York City and stayed there, um, and then I was in New York City. I retired three years ago. 
moved to Seattle, so okay. lifelong. Uh, okay, great. <laughs> and there's a lot of kids that are uh, in the audience at these shows. Yeah. You know, a lot of them come from ballet class and they, they want to be inspired. And it's nice that there's a, a few things even in the streets that they're going to be doing, the village vignettes as well as yeah. the ballroom. The ballroom, that sounds terrific. I want to be out there and learn the ballroom. So, yeah. yeah. So now, how many more performances will the Pacific Northwest Ballet be involved in throughout the next Well, week? unfortunately, we're, we're going back to Seattle for a great project that we're excited about, but tonight's our last performance. Okay. Um, we're leaving a few dancers that will dance on Friday night in the international evening. Okay. And if we're heading out to Seattle, what's coming up next? Well, actually, we have um, great choreographer Twyla Tharp coming in. She's mm -hmm. going to be with us for seven weeks, and she's making two world premieres for us. Oh, and that wow. starts on Monday, so we got to get back for that. But yeah, Twyla Tharp, I know that some of her works we've already seen Yeah, we've seen this nine week. Sinatra songs, um, yeah. so she's making two new pieces for us, which we're so excited about. Okay, um, so just from scratch, and there you just go. Just from scratch, yeah. Okay, yeah, perfect. So. And do you guys have a website? So when we're We have a website, yeah, yeah. It's just PNB, like Pacific Northwest Ballet. PNB.org. Okay. So. Now, do you enjoy being able to just be out here and relaxing? Do you get any time to relax? In the I do, Valley? yes. And I've been to the top of the mountains and um, we've been swimming and skating and biking and all this great stuff. Oh, wow, so you guys terrific. are busy. Well, yeah, yeah you got to keep everyone on their toes and yeah. get them acclimated. Yeah. All right, so tonight, and this will be at 7 30 p.m. That's right. And will they be in, in full dress and everything too for um, some of the pieces? Some of the pieces we're going to do in rehearsal clothes. The final piece, the concert, it's a comedy and they're going to be in costumes for that. So okay. you'll see a little bit of everything. Okay, great. Yeah. All right. So is there going to be any question and answer with the audience too? Um, I think we're going to try to do that. Yeah. Okay. If we have time, because those are the great moments. Okay. So yes, you can definitely find out more. This is going to be a great performance and the dance festival does continue on. Of course, this is yeah. the last performance from the full Pacific Northwest Ballet. Yeah. And then uh, we can see you. Where are you based out of in Seattle? Where do you usually play? Um, we're usually at the McCall Hall in Seattle okay. um, and rarely get on the road. Luckily, we get to Vail every now and then. Okay, but, good. Yeah. Well, will we see you next year? I hope so, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. We All hope right. to see you right. as Thank well. Thank you. All right, you can see them tonight. We've got Damon Wetzel as well as Peter Bull. They will be at the Up Close Jerome Robbins American Genius, and this will be taking place at 7.30. Get there early to get a good spot. We'll see you tomorrow.